I'm Patrick Hopkins, New York Yacht Broker with Dennis and Yachting. Today I want to invite you aboard one of my newest listings, Karen Lynn, a 2018 MC5. This 50-foot Flybridge motor yacht stands out amongst her competition. There are three things that stand out to me on board. The first, her plumb bow. This feature not only gives a sleek look, but it is also practical. This narrow entry bow design cuts through the waves, making her sea keeping abilities feel as if she is a much larger, yet extremely nimble boat. Number two, her massive flybridge. I've seen 10 people aboard Carolyn, all seated safely and comfortably on the flybridge. And last, but certainly not least, the aft docking station. As a former captain, I can assure you, this makes docking a breeze. It also gives the owner the ability to dock a 50-foot boat single-handed. We're going to begin today's walkthrough all the way aft on the swim platform. First, you'll notice the integrated chalks that make for simple storage of a tender. When the tender is away, the lowered platform acts as a teak beach with an integrated swim ladder. For those who cannot get enough of the sun, here on the transom is an integrated grill and wet bar. As you move forward towards the starboard side, you'll notice two 50 amp shore power cables, both on convenient Glen Denning reels. Taking the steps up through the transom gate to starboard brings us into the cockpit. The first thing I notice is the secondary docking station. A retractable awning allows for shade over this incredibly large seating area here in the cockpit. A great place to cool down in the shade while enjoying a nice breeze. Before you get to these folding doors, you will find this deck hatch. Housed underneath this hatch, you will find twin Volvo IPS 600s, which allow this boat to cruise easily at 24 knots with a top end just shy of 30. Also in this space is one of the most important pieces of equipment, the Cummins Onan Generator. The first place we come to in the salon is this L-shaped galley on the port side. She is complete with a two burner electric cooktop, a microwave, and to the right, your single basin sink. Directly across from the galley to starboard is your cold storage behind this cabinet door. Directly in front of your galley storage is this two seater setsy. Above is an electrically actuated flat screen TV, which is raised using this button directly below the helm seating. Opposite the settee is your dining space, which has a C-shaped settee and an extending table with leather inlays. There are two windows above to port and starboard. They are open and closed electrically. Just forward are these storage compartments with leather poles complemented by leather wrapped handrails. Across from here to port is the helm station. This area makes the MC5 usable in poor weather conditions, starting with the enormous single pane windshield. Here at the helm are two 12-inch Simrad touchscreen displays with integrated autopilot, your Volvo Penta display, and to starboard, your throttle controls, which are positioned very naturally to the hand, whether you're leaning up against the bolster or in the fully seated position. We have our second of three docking controls just after the throttles. From here, we continue forward, taking the stairs down into the guest accommodations. All the way aft, we first come to the master stateroom. She has a centerline king berth. To starboard is a hang locker. And just after that is this seating area. There's a second seating area on the port side as well that continues forward to another hang locker. The master also features a wall mounted flat screen and a spacious ensuite. Just beyond the master is the guest head. This head has an entrance in the passageway as well as an entrance from inside the VIP. Moving forward into the passageway to starboard is this guest stateroom with an over under layout. The third and final stateroom is the VIP. Here there's a centerline queen berth with a skylight and an escape hatch overhead for natural light. Conveniently located in the VIP is the entrance to the ensuite.
taking the side deck forward gives some scale to the size of the windows that run down each side of the salon. The stainless grab rails wrap all the way around bringing you all the way forward. Here there's a stainless anchor and an electric windlass. Up here, these sun pads that also convert to loungers make for the perfect place to soak up the sun. Taking the molded staircase up from the cockpit, we step onto the flybridge, where we are ending today's walkthrough of Karen Lynn. All the way aft, there's a coal box to keep and store drinks without having to traverse up and down the flybridge stairs. Stepping forward, we come to one of the major highlights of the MC5, this oversized seating area on the flybridge. This is a place most owners and guests are drawn to, with comfortable seating for a small crowd and a vantage point that is not to be missed. Moving forward and keeping with the social theme of this space is a large sun pad that has the ability to convert to a forward-facing seat while underway. At the helm, we have a single 12-inch Simrad touchscreen display to starboard throttle controls, our final of three joystick controls as well as the bow thruster control. For those of us operating the boat, this ergonomic yet extremely comfortable helm chair is the perfect vantage point. Finally, directly behind the helm is a grilling station. Thank you for joining me aboard the 2018 MC5, Karen Lynn. If you have any questions or would like to schedule a showing, feel free to contact me.